What is up, you guys? It's Boltsy98, and in this video, we're going to be talking about everything we know for sure is coming to Call of Duty. Old Gen, uh, remaster map, zombies are back, and definitely got to talk about that new campaign coming. So, guys, let's get right into the topics of today's video. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you guys brought some popcorn. I'm just kidding. It's not going to be that long, because we are just going over some of the brief points that we've already talked about in the channel, but a little bit more of a quicker series here where we just kind of get to it. So, first of all, we're going to go with the boring Xbox One consoles are being confirmed to be getting Modern Warfare 3, meaning Modern Warfare 3 is coming to old gen Xbox One consoles. We haven't heard anything about PlayStation 4 consoles, but I don't think Activision would be the type to only do it for one console, because I don't understand going through the hassle of that. But we're not 100% sure that we are getting it for PlayStation 4 or not. But just say we are. If you are on Origin, I suggest you use this year to probably go ahead and invest in a new console of uh, next gen or just get the PC. But it does seem like you're going to have at least one more year to wait on that. So that's good for all you guys who don't really have the time nor the money to spend on a new console. You got one more year before you really have to get that upgrade. So I'd go ahead and start saving now. And the best thing about getting, like, if you do get a PC, you can always upgrade it to even better and better uh, standards. And I don't have a PC myself like that, but I know you can upgrade it and get better and better graphics over time. So you don't really have to have the best of the best. Now we get into our Modern Warfare 3 remastered maps. Yes, we have confirmed three maps to be remastered. Countdown, Terminal, and Scrapyard. Yes, so those are our three maps that are for sure coming to Modern Warfare 3 in multiplayer. Not just Warzone, but in multiplayer. Those three are coming. We also had one from Black Ops 2. So this is cool because it might mean that we can get more from Treyarch. I think the one from Black Ops 2, I don't remember the name, but it was a weird one. I just don't remember it, but... It does mean that we will start to get more and more uh, remastered maps. I know this whole new game was remastered Modern Warfare 2 maps, but it looks like we'll get other Call of Duty maps also. So I'm interested to know what maps you guys want to see in the, you know, in the feed or in the map rotation. Let me know down below. But we also have campaign is confirmed. Campaign in Modern Warfare 3 is going to be coming. As you see, this is an in-game picture of the campaign from the Makarov tra trailer that we saw on their social Call of Duty socials. Um, mainly YouTube. If you went to YouTube, you can go watch the whole Makarov trailer video. Um, basically, it, it showed glimpses of in-game and real-life uh, cutscenes and trailer work. It looked really nice, um, but I do think the game looks super good. Also, in Modern Warfare 3, we are confirmed to have Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 1 2019 slide cancel back into Modern Warfare 3. Which, to some, this is going to be a great thing because some actually like this, but then I know some of you guys have uh, shown... A lot of, you know, dislike in this fact of slide canceling being back, which is completely fine. Everyone is, you know, entitled to their own opinion. Me, personally, I feel like it's obviously a money grab. They are just going whatever way to get those Warzone player and content creators back in the game and get more people playing. So, more Warzone guys play then. Also, Modern Warfare 3 will feature its own weapons content set, but... Of course, we talked about the carryover um, of operators and weapons coming over there, so we are... Going to say that they will have their own weapons and operators. However, we're not sure if they will have their own camo grind or, you know, if the camo grind will be as deep as the Modern Warfare 2 camo grind or something like that. So we don't know entirely too much about that. We just do know that they are going to have camos and guns of their own, but we're not sure on if it's nearly going to be as much as we got in Modern Warfare 2. Then we move over to something Modern Warfare 3 is bringing back. It's going to be Zombies Outbreak. Yes, so Zombies Outbreak, which was a Cold War mode. Um, apparently, you guys, again, I looked at the comments before making any of these assumptions. And it does look like a lot of the viewers that I've reached out to in comments and stuff have shown an interest and disinterest in, um, you know, this new mode coming. But I do think they're doing it for the reason of they want Treyarch games to have the round base, which makes sense. I think they're really just pushing this outbreak just so we get zombies so we don't have to wait till next year to get any type of zombies because there are some players that only play that like there are some players that only play warzone or dmz or multiplayer there are some players that only want to play the zombie mode so when you take that away you are taking that uh you know advantage or that group of players away from call of duty completely which in all honesty is not a good look for call of duty itself because you're not making any money when you do that but 
I personally enjoyed Zombies. I enjoyed it on Vanguard. That was like the latest impression that I played it on. Like that was the last time I played Zombies. I think that was the last game. Anyways, but it was very good and awesome. And they had actually started with the Outbreak mode or somewhat like it. Like it was a non-realm based mode Zombies and then later they added realm based. So maybe we could be looking at the similar situation with Modern Warfare 3. However, guys, I am super excited to see what you guys think of all the stuff that we've confirmed to come to Modern Warfare 3. If you want to see more go check out all my other videos on modern warfare 3 news um we had so much that i couldn't just i didn't want to sit here and make a long 20 minute video literally repressing all my other videos so i just kind of put in some key moments um that i thought maybe we need to learn and like i said we will be looking for more and more new information of modern warfare 3 coming it's just right now we're having a little slower time with but i promise if you guys hit that sub button like this video and share it I promise I will never let you down. I will always bring the fastest I can on Modern Warfare 3 news. If, if something comes out and I don't get to it right away, I promise I will get to it in the next video. Everything will be covered to my knowledge. And I promise to never, ever, ever show any fake news or anything like that. If I get it, I've read from sources that it's real. And I will show my sources in my description. Or if I get it from Twitter, then usually I put their Twitter name in the Twitter. So you guys can also go look at those leaks. I'll see you in the next one, guys. We are one subscriber away from 600. If we haven't already hit it, don't mind hitting that sub button for me. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.